Hey, we back where I just hit my funny bone and you know what it hurts but putting that aside we're here today in Minecraft in actual creative mode because I've decided to do a tutorial. What a tutorial on Minecraft we're branching out but here we go see the point is there's this big old advanced carpenter here which no one seems to know how to automate properly and I think I figured it out I got it working in my world. I'm here on Enigmatica 2 Expert, if you're interested. Without further ado, let's get into it, because there's a lot of different methods. Now, the first thing that uh, a lot of people will think of um, is just a fluid transposer. If we just grab a, uh, a fluid transposer, here we go, and we can shove this down, you know, wherever, an XDMA system somewhere, and make sure this is full of water, pump water buckets into it on autocraft and then pump water buckets out to here. Now this is a good solution for some stuff. If we look in here, we're looking to automate circuits. It's going to be my example. These circuits with the advanced carpenter, for example this one, we can just shove down a pattern, uh, one tin, two redstone and five water buckets and it will work fine. However, the reason that I assume everyone is looking for things like this is because when you get to the intricate circuit board, your problems arise because this is five ingredients, this is five buckets of water and it is not going to fit in this 9 by 9 crafting terminal. So what do you do about that? Well, the first solution that you can do if you want, I don't advise it, but if you want, is universal fluid cells. Um, these can be filled with water from industrial craft, and these stack. So you can just put five of them in your crafting thing. This is not water, but as demonstration, there you go, 64 of them. You could easily put five in there with your five ingredients. Uh, you would be set, basically, right? Um, so that is one way of doing it, and of course you can just use your fluid assembler if you want an easy solution, that is one of them. The next one is, let's say we've got some water, we've uh, put it into our ME system here, um, and then we want to pump it out to here. Now you can't auto-craft using water in this manner, so suddenly you get a problem. However, what you can use is a fluid auto-filler. So if we pop this down here, then we may notice when we go into here, we can now auto-craft water buckets. Now I believe you have to have water bucket, uh, regular buckets in your system for this, but I can just tell this, make 10 water buckets. And it's not the fastest thing in the world, but as you can see, it is now making water buckets. No need for a fluid transposer. We are still going to want one on the other end to unpack them. Uh, so for demonstration, let me just set that up. One thing to note, by the way, the fluid assembler is here in my inventory because I wanted to point out that it is a method to get around this for crafting recipes because a fluid assembler can take patterns and will ignore the liquid requirements and take them out of your system, much like the autofiller does. But it is an assembler and it only works for crafting. It won't work for processing patterns. So unfortunately, this is not something that will help you out. All right, I've set up a system here. We've got the fluid transposer, and it's basically, if I explain it, just picking up the buckets. Interfacing into this chest, this is taking all the ingredients and shoving them over into the normal item input. It's got a filter to stop water buckets, and then we have a different conduit here that is a filter for only water buckets. Go into the fluid transposer. Fluid transposer is emptying the fluids, throwing out the output into the normal fluid input hatch and then importing the buckets back in through the system from this import bus here. So if we go over to the pattern terminal, grab our circuits again and say, okay, I would like basic circuit board. Thank you very much. And I will say that this takes five buckets of water, right? We can shove this in here and then we can ask for circuit boards. But, like I said, we have the problem of the intricate one. As you can see, our circuit board has been created, it's all good, but we still can't get around our problem. So what do we do? Well, a couple of solutions are available to us still. What we can do is swap out um, this interface for a much more complicated setup involving a piece of paper or something, which you name and has it as a token. 
But personally, I don't like that solution. Very complicated. We're not going to be doing that. We are still swapping out the interface, but hopefully I will show you a bit more of an advanced solution here. So what we have here is a package recipe encoder. That's correct. Packaged auto is the solution of preference for me personally. It works quite nicely. If you haven't heard of the mod, check it out. It's very good. But the point is that it is in Enigmatica 2 and therefore big stocks. So this is very similar to the pattern terminal over there. But as you can see, it has a lot of slots. We're going to take a couple of package recipe holders. You will need two of these put them into the package recipe encoder and then what we can do is we can take these recipes we'll start with these simpler ones here and we can just plop them in like that then using our water bucket we can click in five times save the recipe we were good so let's go ahead and do all of these five water buckets as you can see we go on to the next line now so we're using a second package but it can take a whole nine packages so we're fine right I actually overwrote one. There we go, fixed. You do need to make sure you click on the next slot before doing your next recipe. So let's go ahead and save all of those, put them in here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take it over to this packager that I put. This can be anywhere on your ME system. And we prop one of them into there. And then we'll take the other one over to our unpackager, which I put next to the chest. Now this is where a chest is important because it cannot go straight into the input. Certainly not into the input and the the fluid transposer at the same time. So you're going to want a chest here or something along those lines. Uh, to be fair, maybe it can go straight into there. It depends how the storage is configured, but it won't go into both. So you're going to want a chest. The chest can go on top, underneath, probably. I've not actually tried underneath, but I assume so. Next to or wherever. Um, it's got blocking mode, just like an interface. And that's all you need. Just this little thing. This is where the slots where the little packages will go. They're not super relevant. And this is probably a battery. I honestly don't know. Not super relevant. But if we go into here now, that's the wrong terminal, but I guess it works. As you can see, we have a few more recipes. We have recipe packages, which are craftable. You're probably not going to want to craft those, but it does depend. Probably in the next video, I'll go over that because I'm planning on doing a couple of these. Um, and then as you can see, we have these things. So let's try it out. Let's just shove in this. Ah. Now we've hit another problem. What is this problem, you may ask? This problem is a little more complicated because it thinks it cannot craft any of these. What you are actually going to need to do is you are going to need to craft one of each of your circuits here. Okay, we now have all three of our circuit boards here. So I'm going to grab them all out and then I'm going to take them over to here and I'm just going to click them in. You may think this makes no difference at all, but due to some hidden values, it actually will make a difference. Go ahead and save this again and then we'll plop it into the uh, packages again. Now, something to note that you will still have this problem using the pattern terminal. This isn't anything to do with the recipe encoder, it's just how A2 works. If you haven't come across that problem before, I'm sure you will at some point. It's a reasonably common problem, but one of the things that does affect is these circuit boards. Now let's go ahead and try and make this. You see now it works, magically fixed. It's figured out how to make all of this stuff, which is fantastic. So we'll tell it to go and make one of those and it'll chug along for a second, probably emptying out all of those water buckets. And there you go, we've got our intricate circuit board, right there, ready and auto-crafted. Big success. Now obviously this will work with any liquid, not just water, you can go ahead and automate all of the recipes. The intricate circuit board is far from the only one that's used, um, but it is used for a lot of things uh, later game. So it's probably quite useful to automate. I know when I first automated it, I was making the quantum entangle orbiter. Um, so that's fun. Um, but yes, as for the advanced carpenter goes, it has a lot of recipes here using a lot of different liquids. Uh, now, most of them are less than one bucket, so you probably wouldn't have a problem using the pattern terminal if you wanted to. But since we have this unpackager, we might as well use it because it's only going to take up one channel and it, these recipe holders can hold 20 recipes in them. So feel free to go ham, it's a lot better than a regular interface. And uh, personally, I just have one packager and one unpackager for my whole uh, carpenter and another one for my uh, advanced metallurgic fabricator and 
whatever else uh, modular machines you, you feel like making etc um, it's a pretty nice solution and I very much enjoy it and combining it with fluid auto filler means that you don't even need a transposer on the other end it does need a transposer here but you can substitute that out for something else I think a Ender a IO a fluid tank or something can empty buckets any machine that you like that can empty the buckets into actual liquid in fact I think if you want it you could just use a uh, autonomous user or something like that because right clicking buckets on this is perfectly valid um, so there's all manner of ways of doing it you just want to get the buckets out uh, or alternatively of course universal fluid cells whatever your choice of fluid storage may be uh, but yes that will be all for this one nice and short and I'll uh, leave you here. Bye!